Hi everybody. Um, I thought I'd let you into um, a little bit of an experiment that I've been having. Um, I've always got frustrated when I'm doing my dots because, you know, it'd be great to be able to make some other shaped dots as well. So I had a brilliant idea and I thought I would have a go and see if it worked. And as you can see from this painting here, you can see that I have actually been able to make, I'll just zoom in for you a bit more, um, some square shapes. And believe it or not, it was quite easy to do. So uh, here is how I did it. I went, let just zoom out a bit more. I went to my local shops and um, over here in the UK we have a shop called The Works and whilst I was in there I picked up a bag of 10 wooden blocks. Let's hold that up a bit closer. Whoops. <laughs> hold that up a bit closer. We have 10 wooden blocks for a pound. Also in the works they have a 50 wooden scrabble tiles um, which you can get for two pounds and with these where these ones if I just throw it out where these ones are quite thick uh, these ones are a bit thinner and they have a sticky dot on the back. I actually took that off. So I didn't actually use a dot part on that. I also went into another craft store, a little craft store, and um, these Scrabble tiles are small. They're by Creative Expressions, and I got them for £3.99. Um, you get 25 in the bag, and it says that they are four millimeter MDF approximate size, 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters. The great thing about these are that they are quite thick. So if I was to get one of each out, put it on my hand, <laughs> you can see there that we have some lovely squares. Now, anyone who's watched uh, a few of my videos will know that I quite often use a carpenter's builder's pencil. And they're quite cheap to pick up. And the great thing about them is, it's so that when they're working, I think it anyway, it's to stop it from rolling. But I also think maybe it's because when they put them on the ear, it will stop their ears from poking out. But there you go. Uh, <laughs> but the great thing about these pencils is that, um, so I'm just gonna try and zoom in for you. Can you see how they're an oval shape rather than your traditional circle for a pencil? Now the great thing about this is that you've got quite a good surface there. So I've got my glue gun out and I've basically just glued the tile on top. And then at the other end, I then super glued, uh, sorry, glue gunned. <laughs> the other end, on, on the other end of the pencil, I put the other square. So here's one I've used, as you can see. Um, yeah, you've got a bit of residual colour there, but it, it's absolutely fine. Um, and what you have on the other end. Now, I have tried using the bigger square as well. And on that one, sorry, on that one, I actually put it on a cork. I got um, a box of a dozen corks from Wilco. Um, I think it cost about three ninety nine, something like that. 
can be very handy for doing larger dots but also as well really really good for sticking squares on them you can't use it for the other ones because it's not big enough this this part isn't big enough um, so they're better off being on a pencil and not only that it makes it a little bit easier as well to manage so I then had a good practice <laughs> to see what that would turn out like and as you can see from these dots up here um, takes a bit of getting used to but then I do find anyway that when you're creating bigger dots that you with with the uh, acrylic dowels that um, acrylic rods that there is a knack to it you have to put it down you have to make sure you've got enough paint on and you have to put it down completely straight to get a proper even circle and the same goes with working with the tiles as well even the small ones you've got to make sure that you put down put on an even pressure if I, if I show you um, I did get some paint out So if I use the smaller of, of the scrabble tiles, I found that really it is a case of dipping in each time. I don't know about all of you, but I quite often prefer doing that anyway because you know you've got a good amount of paint on. So you've got some nice squares there. And I just wipe it off the same way as I do with my acrylic rods. With a bit of kitchen towel. And then I'll try to show you with the other end. So far, touch wood. I've only had to super glue them on. Uh, I keep saying super glue. Use my glue gun to do it once, and they've stayed on. I have done a painting with them, so you know it's quite good. But I suppose you, if you haven't got a glue gun, you could probably use wood glue. It's all wood. Quite good, isn't it? <laughs> Sexy dots, sexy dots. So then I thought, well, if I can create squares, can I create triangles? And as you can see by this, what I was using yesterday, um, you can see I've got different shape triangles, triangular shapes. Um, and with that, what I did was, I used one of the fabric ties that I've got letters on, popped off the plastic bit at the back, then I got a pencil, uh, I got a pen, and I drew a line across from corner to corner, so I'd remember where I was. And I haven't got much in the way of tools, but I've got a craft knife, which, funny enough, I've also got in the works. <laughs> um, and what I did was, literally, very carefully, I actually kept scoring along that line. I'm not going to do it here now all the way through, um, until I got an even line across. If I was doing another one I would actually peel, if possible, the lettering on the back first. I haven't investigated into that. I've, but that, that is what I, I wish I had done. Um, okay so um, then with the second dot that you, uh, triangle you saw me do there, I actually did it using one of these and I must admit I sat there with my little knife for ages and ages and ages 
and in the end I had to wait for Amanda to visit and, and I said, can you help me? <laughs> and I got him to actually um, use his strength <laughs> and um, a kitchen knife was used as well so we need a little little saw but you can cut straight across so you've got a triangle and again I just stuck both of them on one of my pencils using a glue gun and again even though I've been using it it's absolutely fine um, nothing has come unstuck in this picture that I created yesterday to see, make sure it all worked, you'll see that I've got um, green lines, which I must admit I was really pleased about. Um, and the way I created them was to, again, use one of the... Um, one of the Scrabble letters that has got the writing on it and I literally just dipped it in the paint and you get lovely lines I found that that was better than using the bigger tile because when you use that one it was just a little bit too chunky for me, for my liking. But you can do it to get a thicker line. Pretty cool, isn't it? Sometimes it's the things that are most obvious that we don't think of of trying. Um, if you don't like having all this paint not coming off properly I thought you could possibly um, maybe varnish the wood maybe that might make it easier to come off um, anyone has a go you have to let me know if you try that as to how you got on um, I also tried something else as well and I'm looking frantically for where I put it uh, where do I put that Bear with me for one moment. You know how when you get a canvas and you get a little bit, a little pack of these canvas stretchers on the back. Um, hey, these are pretty cool as well. So, um, because you get you get um, different size lines, so you could use that. Or there's a, um, if you see, it's um, probably be better once I've got the paint on to be able to see it a bit easier. Um, the way they're shaped, it means you've got a shorter line there. And then obviously you've got the other end. <laughs> if you wanted a really long line, you could use one of the others. <laughs> and an even long, longer line if you use the other side. would be if the paint had gone on over all of it. Yay, success. So that is how I created squares and also triangles. Well, let me show you a triangle as well. Okay, so try this. So this is the one that's got um, letters on it. What I would suggest is, don't go straight onto a canvas, please. You know, practice first to make sure you've got the knack. 
and this is the, the bigger, thicker one, that one that's been cut into a triangle. Um, How's that? <laughs> so th this is how I learned how to make to dot squares, different size lines and triangles. If you've got any ideas for creating others, other shapes, you know, please do let me know. Oh, oh by the way, as well, um, I also in this painting that I've created here. Um, hold on to the camera a bit more for you. Can you see I've got lots of little dots on there? I created that, use the little dots using a toothpick. It always frustrates me that with my um, my acrylic rods but I can't get a really little dot and sometimes you do want a really real little dot but actually using a toothpick is a really good way of doing that so there you go so if you'd like to see me creating this picture then um, just keep watching the video and I would just let it play quickly so that you can see me putting it together. I'm sure that you'll all do a lot better than me. I was just you know, trying out the different shape tools. Um, but have fun watching it. I understand, you know, from reading posts of people on Facebook and things, that not everybody can actually obtain all, all the equipment and paints and things that um, a lot of us are able to get quite easily. So if you would like to be able to create the squares and the triangles and um, or even using my favourite, I, I absolutely love this tool, um, the oval shapes by having a builder's carpenter's pencil then um, I'm very happy to put a little kit together for anyone who would like to to be able to join in the fun. Um, so I will put a link on my website where you can uh, pick up a little kit to be able to, to be able to do this as well. And what I'll do is I'll put in um, I'll put in three of these pencils, and I shall put in five of each size tile for you. Um, I, I'm not going to offer to glue them for you because I think there's a really good chance that it will come up in the post. Uh, so it's a lot cheaper to send it out like this, in this, in this form. Um, I'm very happy to do that for anyone. So uh, have fun and I hope you enjoy this video. And please, if you, if you enjoy the video, please click the like button. Um, leave your comments. I, I love reading people's comments when they've left them under my videos and uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Have fun.